Hello friends, welcome to another video of Zeta Axis and today we will discuss about El Nino Modo key. We have already discussed the normal El Nino and the link for which we can find in the description below. Now before going into details, let's discuss what is thermocline. We already know that for first few hundred meters, the ocean temperature is uniform, it is warmer. And in the deeper parts, we will again see that the temperature is uniform and it is colder. But in between these two regions, we will find that the temperature changes drastically. And this region is called thermocline. Now, if we see the South Pacific Ocean without considering the effect of wind currents, then we will see that there will be hot water in the central part of Pacific Ocean because this is at the equatorial region and it is directly heated by sun rays. Here we will see that there lies cold water on the coastline of South America. The thermocline is also almost horizontal. Now we will see that there is a high pressure region over here and there is a low pressure region over Australia. Now we know that a wind current flows from higher pressure region to lower pressure region. Therefore we can see a wind current starting from here towards Australia. Now this wind current applies a dragging force on the warm water in the central part of Pacific Ocean. That is why this warm water is dragged towards Australia and we will see concentration of warm waters on towards the Australian region. Now because of accumulation of hot water over here, we will see that some of this hot water will move towards the deeper parts of our ocean and the thermocline will go more deeper. Similarly here, because the water is moved from the surface towards here, because of this wind current. Therefore, we will see that water from deeper parts of ocean, which is cooler water, will come to the surface and thus changing the thermocline over here. Now, this is the normal circulation phenomena where the air current will rise above Australia, bring a lot of rain to this region and then it will move back towards southern America in upper troposphere and then it will descend in the high pressure region. This whole cell is called Walker circulations, which we have already discussed in our previous video of El Nino. Now, under normal conditions, there will be a cold water current on the coastal line of South America that is called Humboldt current, and there will be a warm water current on the coastal margins of Australia. Now, this is very similar to what we have discussed in normal El Nino. With the start of El Nino Modoki, we will see formation of low pressure region in the middle and a low pressure region over Australia is converted into a higher pressure region. Now this is different from normal El Nino. In normal El Nino, we would see that the low pressure region over Australia is converted into higher pressure region, but the high pressure region over South America is converted into low pressure region. But this does not happen in El Nino Modoki. A low pressure region is developed in the middle and the low pressure region over Australia is converted to high pressure region. Now, because of this formation of low pressure region in the middle, the Walker circulation, which applied a dragging force on the seawater, is disrupted. And therefore, the warmer waters which were collected over here, they start to flow back to their original position. We also see wind currents starting from these high pressure region towards the low pressure region in the middle. These wind currents apply a dragging force on the seawater, therefore, collecting a lot of seawater in the middle while depleting these two coastlines with the seawater. The depleted surface water is replaced by the water from the deeper parts of the ocean. Therefore, we see accumulation of cold water from the surface because these waters are coming from the deeper parts of the ocean. While in the central part of Pacific Ocean, we will see our accumulation of warm water. And this warm water which is accumulated in the middle will go in the deeper parts of our ocean and therefore we can see here warm water and therefore the thermocline is something u-shaped you can see this is the thermocline it is at higher positions at the australian end at the and the south american end but it is in deeper regions in the central pacific ocean we also see that the wind currents rise up in the central part of pacific ocean giving a lot of rain in these areas but there is a drought in Australia and as well as there is a drought in the South American region. Now this wind flow of El Nino Modoki will disrupt after some time, it will weaken 
and a new condition arises where there is higher pressure in the middle of Pacific Ocean and lower pressure on the eastern and western sides of Pacific Ocean. Now because of this, the wind current also changes. We will see wind current flowing from the central part of Pacific Ocean towards both edges of the Pacific Oceans. Now this wind currents carry the warm water from the center towards the coastlines of Australia as well as the coastlines of South America. We can see accumulation of warm water in these regions. Because of this accumulation of water over here, we will see that the water starts to go down in the deeper parts of our earth, therefore making the thermocline even deeper on both sides. Now because water is depleted in the middle, that is water is moved on both sides away from the center, there is a depletion of water in this region. And this depletion of water is replaced by water rising from deeper parts of our earth. And therefore we will see that there is a collection of cold water in this region. And we see that the thermocline now is inverted u shape and it reaches to the surface in the middle of Pacific Ocean. Now in this figure we can directly compare a normal El Nino and El Nino Modoki. We can see that the wind current starts from Australia and goes till South America. And it rises in South America giving lot of rain in South America. But here the winds from both Australia and South America they move towards central part of Pacific Ocean and rise at central part of Pacific Ocean thus giving a lot of rain in central part of Pacific Oceans. So in normal El Nino there is drought in Australia however heavy rainfall in South America. But in El Nino Modoki rainfall is in the central part of Pacific Oceans and there is no rain in Australia or South America. We can also compare the thermocline. Here the thermocline is near the surface near Australia and it's in deeper part near South American coastal line. Here you can see that the thermocline is U-shaped. It's near the surface at both South American coastline and Australian coastline but it, it is in deeper parts in the central part of Pacific Ocean. We see cold water collected over Australia here and the South American coastline has warm water but in this El Nino Modoki we will see that cold water is found on the coastlines of both South America and Australia. Here you can see that there is an upwelling and here we see a downwelling but in El Nino Modoki we will see that there is upwelling on both coastlines but there is downwelling in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Now let's compare La Nina in both cases. Here you can see that the wind starts from South America and extends till Australia. But in La Nina Modoki, the wind will start from central part of Pacific Ocean and then it will flow towards South America in this direction and towards Australia over here. The wind rises over Australia giving a very heavy rainfall in normal La Nina. Here we will get rainfall both over South America and Australia because both these wind currents are rising over South America and Australia. These wind currents, they will drag the cold water from this coastline towards the central part of Pacific Ocean. And the warm water which was over here is again accumulated more towards Australian region. Therefore, changing the thermocline in this direction. Now since here, the wind is moving from central part of Pacific Ocean towards both the coastlines, we will see accumulation of warm waters on both coastlines. And therefore, there is a downwelling of water on both of the coastlines making the thermocline deeper here. You can see it is in deeper parts. But in the center there is a depletion of water because the water is moved on both sides. Therefore the water over here is replaced by water rising from deeper parts of our ocean. Therefore there is an accumulation of cold water and we see the thermocline near to the sea surface over here. Here you can see the comparison of El Nino with El Nino Modoki and La Nina with La Nina Modoki. I hope you like this video and please subscribe and share it with your friends. And please do not forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you.